Hi, Aaron. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Thanks. I've been asked to start building a new inventory tracking system on Cloud Run. We use Cloud Run, which is serverless, to reduce the ops work needed. Uh, the application will use Java and Spring Boot, but I'm not sure how to get that started on Cloud Run. No worries, Martin. It's actually pretty simple these days. Let me show you. So remind me again, what kind of app are we building here? It's a pretty standard web app with an HTML user interface, and it will connect to a database. All right. Well, first things first, how about we get a simple service created and deployed? Sounds like a good start to me. We'll start by making a new Google Cloud Platform project for your app. All right. And we can call it Inventory Tracking App. Perfect. Once that's created, we can open up the Cloud Shell. Uh, do we need to use the Cloud Shell for this, though? No, that's entirely optional. As long as you have the gcloud command line tool installed, you'll be able to do everything from your local machine if you prefer to do that. Excellent. Well, I will use the Cloud Shell to get started for convenience. Uh, I'm used to using the wizard at start.spring.io to get new Spring Boot applications. That should work great. All we'll need is the web dependency. It may be easier to use the command line version of that to get the zip file in your Cloud Shell environment. I sent you the command. Did you get it? Yep, I see it. All right, let me run it. Looks like I got a zip file with a starter project, uh, like I'm used to from start.spring.io. I'll just unzip it here and open the editor. OK, uh, all set. Uh, what's next, Aaron? Well, that command gave us a good starting point, but we'll need something to give us a sign of life once we're running this. Let's add a hello world endpoint to help us with that. Uh, sure. Uh, I'll just add a hello controller here. It will return a placeholder inventory count of a placeholder product for now. And this is just so we can see that all parts of the system are working. Now, uh, to get started, uh, how can we get this running from the command line? We can actually run it the same way you would on your machine. Then we can hit the preview button in the top right of the Cloud Shell to see it in your browser. Mm -hmm. uh, there it is. Very nice. So the application is running from my command line. I can use this for testing as I build it out. Now, how can we get this deployed to Cloud Run up in the cloud so others can test the application? In the simplest case, we can do it in one line with gcloud run deploy. Wow, that is a short top command. Uh, but is there a way I can see what kind of magic is happening behind the scenes here? Absolutely. You'll be prompted for a few things during the run deploy command, like providing the source code location, providing the service name, enabling the Cloud Run API, selecting your region, and enabling artifact registry. Hmm, I see. I did that. Uh, now I'm being asked if I want to enable unauthenticated requests to the service. Yeah. To make it easy to test here, we'll want to allow unauthenticated requests. After all that enabling is done, it'll start the actual deploy process. Now, a lot is going on behind the scenes of this command, which you don't need to know, but you might find interesting. What's happening during this step is that Cloud Build zips and saves your source in a cloud storage bucket, uses the Cloud Native Computing Foundation build packs in the background to build your image, creates a registry to store the resulting container image, if not already present, and creates a Cloud Run service to host your app, if that's not already present. Wow. And just like that, with one single command, we're live, huh? Yes, we are. Well, that was pretty simple. Uh, but for my app to get to production, I'm going to need some tests. And I'll want them to pass before I deploy. Fair enough. We can get that going pretty quick as well. OK, so why don't we get started by adding a simple failing test? Uh, the test checks if 1 plus 1 equals 3. And it will fail, of course, and then I will fix it. And if all that works, uh, I can add real tests later on. Great. Once that test is done, we'll have to inform Cloud Build that we want to treat running those steps as their own step and to stop if they fail. How much config are we looking at for this, Aaron? One file and just a handful of lines. I'll send you the Cloud Build YAML. This file tells Cloud Build to run your tests, install the project's Maven dependencies, build the image using gcloud build submit and the pack flag to select build packs, and then deploy the resulting image to Cloud Build with gcloud run deploy. 
Okay, that makes sense. Now, how do we use it to run the tests before deployment? Well, since we have a cloud build YAML file present in our source directory, we can just run gcloud build submit, and it will look for that file by default. Great. Mm -hmm. Ah, and as expected, it failed. Good. Yeah, now we can fix it and rest assured that we won't be pushing broken builds to prod down the line. Very good. Uh, next, I'd add my code to source control. Then I'd like to automatically run the tests and deploy to my Cloud Run test environment whenever code is committed to the dev branch. Those sound like great next steps. Let me show you how to do them in the next video. Thank you for showing me, Aaron. And thank you, everyone, for watching. If you have questions for me or Aaron, please add them in the comments below. Also, let us know if there are other topics you'd like to hear about on this show. Bye. Thank you.